Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. As always, if it's the first time watching our channel, or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And so today, um, you're not seeing double, because I've already done a, a review of a couple of very similar Skywatch telescopes in the Skyhawk range, and uh, the mo I think the most recent one was the Skywatch Skyhawk 114EQ. This is the 1145P, and it comes with the same EQ1 mount, which is quite lightweight, but it does a job for a telescope of this size. So, and this one, if you want to support our channel, is available to purchase from the link in the description below. And um, so the, the standard 114, it comes with magnifications up to 200 times, and that is with a, a 40 and 100, ma 100 magnification eyepieces, they're the 10 and the 25 millimeters. And it has a built-in Barlow lens inside the um, focuser, which helps double it to 200 magnification. And that, that's what we, we know as a reflector that uses a mirror, a mirror as in down here. And the built-in Barlow lens inside the focuser, which you can't remove. Well, you can, but it wouldn't focus. And that's what we call a catadioptric Newtonian reflector. So, this is the 1145P. And so what you get with it is you, you get a, a separate Barlow lens, Barlow lens, not a built-in one, a, a separate one, and it's a budget one, and um, it comes with 20 and 50 magnification, which it takes you up to 100 times with that Barlow lens. So you're thinking, hang on, this one is more expensive than the standard model, and um, comes with lesser mag magnification, so that means it's going to be worse, doesn't it? Well, no, for one big reason, and that is, it's the 1145P, meaning it has a parabolic mirror. And compa compared to your standard non-parabolic ones, the, the, the contrast is on another level. So you are paying that bit extra, and if you want to upgrade at the same time when you purchase it, and um, I know we, we will happily do this, um, just for a, a few extra pounds, um, you can upgrade to a higher grade Barlow lens or even eyepieces um, and so on the face of it even though this one does come with less magnification than the standard 114 EQ it is a much higher grade mirror and so that is what basically you are paying for. One thing I've noticed um, with some recent Skywatcher scopes, and it maybe depends on the batch, I'm not sure, you'll notice the finder scope looks a little bit better uh, and it feels a bit sturdier than the previous models. And um, that's very, very easy to, to put on. It's uh, the twin pin connection. Um, I personally would have preferred to see a hot shoe connection on this scope, and so if you wanted, you could put on um, some higher grade visual finder scopes. But uh, it, it does a job, and um, I, I think it's slightly better than the, the previous finder scopes, but it may depend on which batch that you buy from. I know with some recent models they are updating the, the, um, the uh, red dot finder. So magnifications up to 100 times, or even using it without the, without the bow lens up to 50 times, that's plenty to get you started. You don't need high magnification. When you look through this, um, yes, you're probably thinking, yeah, am I going to look at the moon? Yeah, fine, but and um, the brighter planets, but from a dark sky area, the amount of nebula, star clusters, and rich field areas, and my favourite subject, double stars, you're going to pick up so many with this scope that there's more to astronomy, believe me, than looking at the Moon and Jupiter, and this one will really open your eyes to the wonders of the night sky. And you will notice down the bottom of the tube, there is, to help with collimation, a, a central point on the main mirror. Very, very easy to use and set up. It's a Newtonian reflector, so the image will be upside down and back to front. But don't worry about that, because all the stars and planets are round anyway and you can see the collimation screws at the back very very easy to get to to look at so with it being a short tube 500 millimeters 
f4.4 it's going to be very easy to, to aid collimation while, while, while looking through the eyepiece that's, that's if you're using a Cheshire uh, type of um, collimation eyepiece uh, there is a, a mount that a tripod thread there so if you wanted to put a, um, a, a camera piggyback by all means you can do or another small uh, scope you can upgrade if you want you can get uh, dovetail mounts um, for, for the, the scope so, so it sh should you want to upgrade to a high grade mount not a problem so it's very it's a definitely an upgradable telescope regards prime focus photography you will have to use the Barlow lens so it will become a, a thousand millimeter f 8.8 um, I'm not sure depending on the weight of your camera if that will be suitable for prime focus because it might just creep in a little bit although this one actually feels quite sturdy but um, I've, I've known some uh, budget scopes you, you put a camera on there and it will slowly start creeping down out of focus but this one I can feel it, it doesn't, even though it's plastic it doesn't really feel too bad at all that quite quite surprised and impressed with it you know it, it is all plastic but but uh, yeah it's it's fine for visual but um, be aware that if you put a, a large camera on there you know the the focus may creep if you're doing long exposures on a uh, driven mount and with this EQ1 as with all Skywatch mounts the EQ2 EQ2 EQ3 etc you can connect uh, motor drives to this scope so to this mount so there you are that's a quick look at the Skywatcher Skyhawk 1145P the, for the all-important parabolic mirror uh, available to purchase from ourselves so as always I hope this helps thank you very much for watching and please check out the link in the description below